Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash IT University. Um, at this time, we are talking about setting up Hadoop on a virtual machine, and the plain vanilla Hadoop directly from Apache, and try to leverage it for uh, uh, MapReduce uh, application development. And as part of that, so far we have uh, created a template, clone, uh, clone a virtual machine from the template, and then set up Hadoop core components. Uh, on them after downloading and installing Hadoop on it and uh, then we also compiled the native libraries um, using Maven on uh, on this VM that is required eventually to explore compression and all those things as part of MapReduce application development which is uh, which will be covered on the main playlist uh, for the MapReduce application development. So, so far we have uh, uh, also taken care of setting up HDFS and YARN or MapReduce execution framework. So, in, um, and also we have validated um, a, by running a job towards the end of the la last video. I am running it again. So, this is how you uh, typically run your MapReduce program, Hadoop jar, jar file name and uh, then uh, either program name or if you are using something called program dri driver as part of your MapReduce, uh, you have to give it pass a parameter and then uh, input path and output path. And if you see, uh, um, before setting up MapReduce, it ran in local mode, but now it cleanly run uh, on the cluster. And whenever you submit a MapReduce job, it will provide a link to monitor your job. You can copy this link and go to browser and paste it in the browser and uh, it, it is complaining that it cannot connect the reason is the job is already completed and it is pointing to something called job history server if you use the same link or the link uh, which is generated while running it it will work because uh, while running it will go to a different url which is called as resource manager uh, URL or application master URL for each and every MapReduce job. It will, you will have that while it is running. But once it is completed, see now it worked. But once it is completed, if you click on this job or even use the link, it will not work. Because uh, once the program is uh, executed to, um, to keep track of the completed jobs, uh, the latest framework CAR or uh, MRV2 uh, maintains uh, uh, job history and to access those job history you need to start the job history server and uh, uh, if you want to set it up or customize it um, You can go to our, uh, the same page which we have used uh, for the parameters uh, and towards the end there is a fully distributed operation so we are trying to set up fully distributed operation of the Hadoop and uh, here there are four parameters that are related to job history server and these are all related to MapReduce so uh, they should go to mapreduce.xml file. So all these are defaults. Uh, so the host name will be wherever you are running and port number is 10020 and uh, the same is the case with uh, host and port and then uh, 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 but why they have uh, host and port for uh, these two parameters is these two can run on different uh, instances than wherever you are running your resource manager in a production cluster where you will have multiple nodes that's why they have provided these parameters. So uh, uh, even the name node, data node, secondary name node, uh, the resource manager, node manager, all these things will not run on the same node in production cluster. But as we have a single node uh, uh, virtual machine, we are trying to set up everything on one. So these, are, these four are the parameters that are related to job history. And uh, uh, this one is the uh, uh, parameter which control on which host and on what port the job history should run. Uh, similarly, if you want to access the job history, so if you see here, 
it is pointing to 19888 port number on the same VM which, uh, which we are using. So that's what is controlled by this one. And then the MapReduce job history intermediate done directory. So these two are the parameters which will control wherever MapReduce um, uh, jobs logs should be stored. So when, whenever you are running the job, there will be a lot of logs that will be generated. So this will control where your uh, MapReduce logs should be stored. Okay. So uh, this is the HDFS path. So you will not find a uh, directory with this name on your uh, PC. So there is no directory because, uh, and even after starting it, uh, you, will, uh, you will not see directory here. Instead, you will see the directory in the uh, HDFS. We will see that. And uh, then, uh, uh, you don't need to configure these things unless you want to override and these are the defaults but you need to start it even if you don't want to configure and by default when you start the map uh, yarn and uh, hdfs this job history server does not come up so how to start it so you can go to the sbin directory cd root hadoop is the our Hadoop home and there is the sbin directory where it have a bunch of scripts and so far we are using start yarn to start the yarn start dfs to start hdfs and similarly to stop we are using the counter uh, uh, shell scripts and then there is a another shell script called mr job history daemon dot sh that is the one which we should use to start our job history server even though we don't want to customize the configuration how we can uh, run it? You just have to give mrjobhistdaemon.sh and hit enter. It will tell you how you should use it. Uh, the first parameter is minus minus config, uh, and you need to pass the configuration directory. In this case, it's uh, slash root slash hadoop slash etc slash hadoop wherever our HDFS site, uh, mapred site, yarn site.xml files are. You can pass that path, and it, it is optional. Uh, unless uh, you are uh, you are using the default ones, you need to pass that location, and then use the start to start and stop to stop, and then mapred command. So what is that mapred command? So let's try mapred mr job history daemon dot sh. We will be using the default path. So uh, start and hit enter to Uh, let me see config root hadoop etc hadoop this is our configuration directory and start so these are the uh, these are the commands which you can give here the mapped command so this is the one which you need to start uh, history server so here you can say history server and hit enter. Now the history server is started and we actually did not pass the config um, as, as parameter here because it, is, it will pick up from the default location. So once it is started uh, to, uh, to validate you can say telnet hadoop271.itversity.com that is our host name and then the port number 10020 which is the default one so it is not started yet it will take little time so let's wait until it is started so if you want to keep track uh, what you can do is you can do tail minus f and then root hadoop 2.7.1 logs so that is where all our logs are going to you can override if you want but we are not saying with all those parameters yet see now it it is start it has started to 10020 uh, port number so now you will be able to do the telnet now it is working similarly you can test to the other port number also 19888 it is working so now uh, now let us see 
whether we will access uh, we'll be able to access the job uh, logs after it is completed so again i am running hadoop jar command i am giving a different path here for output but for input and all it's the same thing now the job is running we will use this link to access our logs it is still running so we can access while it is running whether you have job history server or not once it is completed now if you click it has gone to the next page and now you can access the logs you can access counters configuration and you can see the link at the top it is pointing to one uh, job history server which is running on 19888 in a typical production cluster it could be a different node altogether than wherever you are running your resource manager so that is that being said all the core components that are required to run uh, to copy data into hdfs to run map reduce programs are done uh, as part of this uh, playlist so we set up hdfs we set up uh, map reduce and yarn and also we set up job history server and let us validate that we can actually uh, run our uh, run our map reduce programs which are developed by us so by now um, i have um, i have uh, ex uh, i have created so many map reduce applications while uh, teach, uh, while uh, explaining how the map reduce applications will be done in an enterprise um, going through all the apis so i am using the same application i am actually building the jar file and then i am doing scp of this jar file okay and also i want to copy the data scp minus r raw data hadoop always confused between r and f while copying data using scp while copying data is using scp i think it's r only yeah it is f and here i am typing the password so it will take a while to copy yeah it's done so now i am logging in again okay now you can see the raw data and the jar file here so uh, as part of the next video we will copy this raw data into hd hdss and we will run a sample map reduce program okay that being said i hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel if you like the video please click on the like button if you want to ask any technical question please use the comment section of the video or uh, also to provide the feedback and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will be seeing lot more content than just hadoop and big data thank you bye